Hey, Jack. So I'm going to make a bunch of progress in the ham shack. I'm hoping that today I can get the off-grid situation figured out. So my solar panels and batteries hooked up. And I also am going to get the rest of the stuff set up. So what I want to do first is I was going to deal with the internet. I initially had mentioned I was going to use this guy, which is going to give me internet with my high-gain antenna. I'm not so sure about that, and I've come across this old router, and I'm going to set up it as a repeater. So if I can figure out how to make this work, and... I can hopefully use that and I can get good coverage out in the shop and then just use this to piggyback off the internet in the house. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to have to look into how to make this work. And I already did a little bit. I was playing the router settings. I just didn't get it to work. So I think I just have to tweak some settings around. So we'll see what we get doing that. Okay, that actually only took a couple minutes and now I have internet over there on my laptop. So that actually went pretty well. So now I got to go set it up in the shop and make sure it works. Okay, out here in the shop, I now got the router set up up here in this cabinet, and it seems to be working so far. Over here, I, it's not very good internet, but we got internet. Okay, so I'm thinking that internet speed thing is going to be a later problem. I'm going to have to figure out how to optimize that. But this is where my laptop's going to sit at my desk, and I already got it all kind of wired up over here. So I already have like my speakers and power supply and stuff over here. So this is what we just need to hook into the inverter to charge it off the solar system when that gets installed. So. I also recently got SignalLink USB, so this will allow me to do digital modes and stuff, so I'll be able to hook that up to my ICOM 718. I also have the cable to hook it up to my um, Yezu FT818, so I can use that for like field work kind of stuff. So that's the other thing I'm going to have to start playing with here. Um, I also recently got this MFJ telegraph key, and I've been working really hard on trying to learn CW. So I've um, got a lot to do on that, but I am starting to get to the point where I can actually hear it. I was listening to some guys on 80 meters last night in the CW portion of the band and I was actually getting close like I'm not proficient yet but I was able to I heard like half a guy's call sign and I'm able to start hearing letters and numbers and so we're getting there so maybe in a few weeks I'll actually have the ability to hear at at least 20 words a minute so that's the other thing I'm working on here but yeah so what I'm just gonna work on right now we gotta get the power hooked up so I have those car batteries down there that you can't really see and I'm going to hook those up to my solar charge controller. And then we just got to take those solar panels and then mount them on the roof and then wire them up. So that's what we got going on right now. Okay, I think that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use these hose clamps because I don't have proper terminals. I think I can make this work. I got my wire. Um, I got my XD60 and it's going to plug into there into my solar charge controller that we wired previously. I have a diagram of half of what I'm doing so I don't mess it up. So I'm just going to make a little jumper that will go down and then... Go to the batteries and then jump to the other battery. So let's go inside and make that where I have the high powered soldering iron. So we got the wires stripped and I got them around the first connection where this is going to junction into the first battery and then jump over to the other battery. So we should have a good connection to the second battery because those wires are twisted and they're going to be fully soldered here in just a second. Okay, so I got my battery lead side hooked up. So I got these hose clamps here and this is my junction. It's going to go to the first battery and then I have the jumper here. And this would be my ground lead that goes to this one. I have a similar thing over here for my positive. So this should work. I just need to put an XC60 on the other side, and we should be able to hook the battery up. Um, we'll see how good of connection I can get off of this. I think this will work. Um, there's really no reason why I shouldn't. Okay, cool. And now we got an XC60 on the other end, so now we can go back to the shack and hook it up and see if it works. Okay, so we got the battery hooked up, and now for the moment of truth, let's plug this in and see if it works. Hey, what do you know? We got power. 12.4 volts. So there's got a little bit of work to do, but I do have voltage here and I do have it hooked into the solar charging tour now. So we'll be able to start playing with that and see where we end up. I think we have a contact problem because when I hold this down, I'm able to see this turns on and says I have 12 and a half volts, which is um, in line with what I had off my power meter. So I think I just need to play with this connection. I think I can get that to work. That was significantly harder than it should have been. And it turns out it was a contact problem but I just monkeyed around at the connections enough and now I think I have a pretty solid connection. Okay, I'm gonna have to play with the manual some more, but we are at least now running off of the solar charge controller through the car battery. So this is a good progress. I just need to hook up the solar panels and it should be a fully off-grid system at that point. So I got my 200 watt panels here. I'm just gonna hook up XT60s to these and then I'm going to make a lead that will plug into that. And then I'm also gonna make sure I have an extra extension coming off in case I decide to add extra solar panels in parallel in the future. I already will just be able to plug into that. Okay, both 100 watt panels now have XT60s on them. So now I just need to mount these on the roof and make a lead to plug these into my solar charge controller. And we should be off grid at that point. Okay, I was really sweating there for a bit because I couldn't figure out how exactly I was going to 
attach these together and attach them to the roof. So what I decided to do is I got these sheet metal screws and I screwed the two panels to each other with screws coming from both directions. It's pretty solid. They're functionally one panel now. Now I'm gonna use this angle here that I believe is off a bed frame or something. And I'm gonna screw that to the top and I'm gonna pre-drill that and that's what I'm gonna screw to the deck on 12 inch on center. Okay, now I have this laid out. So I'm gonna have four connections to the pan deck, um, 12 inch on center. I'm gonna have two to each. I'm gonna have four sheet metal screws connecting this angle to the metal deck. And then I'm going to screw through here approximately four inch on center. I believe it's about 11 locations there. And that's what's gonna secure the angle to my panels. So now we're just gonna pre-drill all these locations. So all my sheet metal screws will go in easier. So now our holes are pre-drilled, so I can go screw this to the panel, and then I can screw the panel to the roof. So now we got the angle screwed to the panel. Okay, I just made this jumper. I got three XT60s there, even though I only need two. Okay, we've made a significant amount of progress on the ham shack, and the ham shack is now off-grid. So the solar panels are mounted at a roof, and almost everything I need here is hooked up. So I'll walk you through my station here. So over here I have my laptop hooked up to my inverter to the power supply here. Right now, I'm just using my Hack RF and looking at the uh, FM broadcast spectrum. So this is all radio stations right there. I'm still messing with my signal link over here. I need to get that hook up, hook up my ICOM 718 to my laptop. My, tele my telegraph key here is hooked up um, to my ICOM 718. I still need to run an antenna for my ICOM R75. And I still need to run my 2 meter antenna for my Yaesu FT2900. So that's going to be the next thing I have to do, um, is those two radios are missing antennas. But everything else should be pretty much be good now. Over here I have my inverter hooked up. Yeah, right now with all this stuff on, and especially this inverter is pulling a lot of power to power my laptop. Right now I'm pulling 10 amps right now. I'm only pulling about 1 amp and I just have like one of these lights on in my ICOM 718. So I'm going to have to play with my inverter. I might be able to save some power there if I use a different inverter. It's maybe a little more efficient or just see if my laptop really needs to pull that much power. I'm still messing with the wireless problem to make sure I have actual solid internet out here. But overall, my station is doing pretty good. So just a couple more things to do here. And we should be pretty much in business.